everyone, welcome welcome back to the channel. Today I just wanted to have a little sit down chit chat with you about some of my favorite all time patterns that I have actually tested and tried and I will show you what I made with them. Because if there's one thing I love, it's going on Pinterest, finding a crochet pattern and testing it out and then having it turn out cute. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. First, I can't resist the self promo. I have posted a bunch of tutorials on here so I'm gonna quickly speed run through those because most of you have probably already seen them. We have the Brontosaurus, which looks like this. It is adorable big fan. We have one for the little T-Rex buddy that looks like this. It has the two little feet, the two little arms and the tail, and I just love it so much. We have one for these little bees, super simple, one stripe, and the wings all in one piece, so you only have to sew on the wings once, which I'm a big fan of. I have one for this mini pickle, if you want to make a pickle. I don't know what else to say here. I have one for these little octopus slash jellyfish things. They can be whatever you want them to be. Someone also said they look like ice cream scoops. I just think they're really cute and they're super simple and super easy if you're just looking for a quick beginner project. I also have one for these teddy bears. I've made them in a bunch of different colors, but they all sold at markets because they're super popular because look at it, how could you resist? So there's that one. And then the most recent one I've posted as of when I'm recording this is for the little fried eggs. Next, we have my other favorite YouTube crochet tutorial person, and that is Rose and Lily Amigurumi. I've made so many of her things, so we're gonna go through them now. The first one I have here is her whale. It looks like this. It's super easy, super simple. You only have to sew on these little flippers. Love it, couldn't recommend it enough. I also made it in this tweed color and it came out a little bit smaller because it was a thinner yarn. So you can make different sizes too. Another one of hers that I love is her stingray pattern. It is in one piece, so there is no sewing, which I love, 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 love. I hate sewing more than anything. So this is perfect, adorable, and it works up super fast and it's super easy. And I take them to markets with me all the time and they're a big seller. Her other one is the Pete Bunny. This one I have modified a little. I made the ears a round shorter so they look more rounded off like a bunny, but I think they're so adorable. How could you not? And they turn out perfect every single time without fail. And then another one of her things I've made is the pig. I don't know if I have a photo of it, but there was that one, super easy. Loved it. And also her hedgehog pattern. I do not have one with me. Photo somewhere. Adorable. A little bit of a different technique that I wasn't used to, but it was a really cool one to try and do and I love how it turned out and I think they're the cutest thing ever. Okay, next. Now this is going to be from just a collection of sources I found across Instagram, Pinterest, whatever. This one is by Me Hein on Instagram and it is for this adorable little penguin. The most unfortunate part about this is this pattern is actually not in English, but it has X's and W's. And if you know crochet well enough, you can just realize that it replaces single crochets and increases, and it still gives you total stitch counts at the, at the end. And like, look. Next by Creations by Alyssa on Instagram, we have the Heart Buddy, and it looks like this. It looks like a little jelly cat stuffy. I love it so much. There's definitely not a thought going on behind those eyes, but look at it. Again, moment of silence. I've also made it in this purple mix as well, just for reference, so you can see. And super easy, super simple, adorable every time. I've made at least five. Next, I don't have a physical copy of this, but it is by Natalie's Crochet Creations on Instagram, and it is for a little no-sew alligator. If I have a photo, I'll put one. I don't know if I do though, but I, I don't have a photo. I can tell you it turns out exactly as pictured, and it is the cutest thing ever, and it's so easy. Like, so easy. A hundred... 110% recommend, go make it right now. I also really wanna try her axolotl pattern, so maybe if I keep testing stuff, which I will, there will be a part two of this video and more patterns, and that one will probably be in it. Next, another one I don't have a photo of is by Spinny Yarn Crochet, and it is for the Blue Lobster, except I just made it in red. And I took it to the farmer's market with me, and it sold really fast because we live like by the beach, and the people thought it was the cutest thing, and it looked like this. I think the only modification I made is I didn't do the rings around the outside because I was simply too lazy. If you're sensing a theme, it's because there is one. I'm frequently very lazy and will take the easy way out. Next, I found this one on Pinterest. It is by a website called Tine and End, and it is just for a little leaf bookmark. I currently have it in my book that I'm reading right now, but it looks like this. It's a little leaf, and then it has a big chain that goes all the way down the spine. It is the cutest thing and it is so simple, so easy. If you just want a beginner project that takes maybe like five minutes, 100% recommend. And it gives you some practice with all the different stitches because it has half doubles, doubles, singles, triples, everything. Next, also by Spinner Yarn Crochet, it's called Stella the Starfish. It 
is shown with thin yarn to make like a little keychain type thing. Of course, I make everything with blanket yarn. So I made it with blanket yarn and it ended up looking like this. And can I just say, like this is so cute. And you're sensing the theme, no sewing. You just make the individual ones and then crochet them together. So you don't actually have to sew any of these bits on, which thank you so much to whoever made this pattern. I love you for doing that. Next by Amor Foo, it's called Little Cat. I found it on Pinterest. I like to call it the peanut cat or the bowling pin cat because as you'll notice, I don't, we're really getting into me not sewing things. I didn't put the limbs or the tail on because I made it like this. And then I was like, wait, this is actually really cute. And I like it just like this. So I call it the peanut cat because it kind of just reminds me of a big peanut. And I also have made it once with the arms and legs and it was really cute. I just won't do it again because I'm lazy, but I can confirm if you do it with legs or without legs, still adorable. This next one is by Clover USA. I found an article on their blog for a giant crochet panda. And that's what this is. I used a slightly thinner yarn than they used. So mine is a little smaller. If you look at theirs, theirs is like jumbo jumbo, but I just love this so much. It gives me very big pillow pet vibes, which childhood memories, throwback, we love. So cuddly, so cute and super simple because it's basically just a big tube and then you just sew some arms, legs, ears and eyes on. And that was that. And I definitely recommend it for a bit of a bigger project if you're looking for a little bit more of a time commitment. The next one is called Elon Tusk. It is by All About Ami. I don't know if I have a picture of it. I recently sold it at a market. You can probably find it in one of my haul videos. It's definitely in the everything I've ever crocheted video. So if you want to go watch that, you can definitely see it there. It is literally just a jumbo elephant. And the only thing you had to sew was the ears. It's super simple. It was a slightly different technique. So I'd say maybe not an absolute beginner pattern, maybe intermediate because you had to detach and reattach your yarn to make each of the legs, which was a little bit of a different experience. But if you're experiencing crochet, you'll have no problem with it at all. It wasn't necessarily difficult. It was just different. Next on Instagram, this one is by rin.meow21. It is for a little whale. I should have a photo of it somewhere that I will put here. It is super cute, super simple, super fast, super easy. You have to sew the little fins on, but it turns out adorable every time. I took them to markets with me, they all sold. So that's why you're getting a photo of them. Next one is by Zuzu Crochet on Instagram. It is for a mini duck. I don't have any with me right now and I don't think I have a photo, but I will post the photo that she posted because they look identical, even though I made it with blanket yarn. So cute, so simple. It's just one piece. You don't have to sew the wings on, you crochet them on and I love it. My one thing, I have never tried making the hats, so I don't exactly know how those would turn out, but I'm sure if they work the same way as the actual pattern, there would be no issues with them. But I can confirm that just the pattern for the duck body wings, perfect, love it 100%. The next one is another one I found on Pinterest. It's by Amigurum Toys, and it is for this giant snake. It doesn't really fit in frame. Um, here's his face, here's his body. He is about maybe, four feet long. But one thing I thought was really cool about this is you could technically just make it however long you want. You just follow the pattern for the head and then you can just make as many rounds as you feel like until you're tired. Because I will admit this took a very, very, very long time and it is a big commitment and it definitely hurts your wrists. And then the final one is one I just found recently, strangely enough, and it is by Chloe, Chloe Crochet on YouTube and it is just for the leggy frog. I feel like most people have seen this pattern by now, but I figured I'd share it anyway because if you're like me, you thought it was a paid pattern and you could never make them. And suddenly I found a tutorial for it. I have a couple of them here. I made this one with this color. I made this dark green one. Ignore the fact that they have no faces. I have a bad habit of waiting to sew all the faces on at once instead of doing it as I go. But I made it in all these colors and they're just so cute. Anyways, that was everything I have for this iteration of it. I will definitely keep testing out patterns because it's something I love to do. So stay tuned for more iterations of this. Or if you have any patterns to test, feel free to comment them below. I love trying new patterns out. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, check out my other videos, my tutorials. Anything is greatly appreciated and I'll catch you in the next video. See ya!